Hi guys, welcome back to Casually Crafted. My name is Ashley and this is week three of our Leapfrog make-along for the month of February. So today I actually have three patterns to show you. <laughs> um, two of them were planned and like made ahead of time and then one um, I was just doing a little Instagram search and came across a quick and easy one that I wanted to throw in here for this week. Um, the reason these ones are all together is because I used all of like the plush type yarns, but I used three different ones. So, because I'm kind of interested in like, if I wanted to stock up on a kind, like what would I like? Um, so this first one, his name is Flipsy. That's the name of the pattern. And um, he was like a dollar on Etsy when I bought him, which is why I added him to the list in the first place. I was like, sure, I'll pay for a pattern for a dollar. Like, that's pretty cheap. But, so once again, two of these patterns have the eye bobbles that you have to sew on, and neither of them are even. Not, not really. Um, his arms are, and legs are kind of fun. They're just like, you start like you're going to make a ball, and then you decrease, and then this, these are just chains. This one I didn't sew in super well. You can see the little hump right there. But, um, so yeah, he was pretty easy besides this part, which I still can't get it <laughs> right. And I think his little arms and legs are cute. I feel like these, these should be a little thicker, like maybe like slip stitch down them or something. I don't know. Um, would be cute. Um, he was made, um, with this. It's an ice yarns chenille baby in this I don't know the color it's 100% microfiber did not know that and this one says it's a medium weight number four but I would say that's probably thicker than that and I don't remember the color but it's like a bright green color um and I use a five millimeter hook for this one so there is Flipsy, and my daughter was like, his head's bigger than his body. Yeah, it was supposed to be that way. <laughs> um, okay, so I'll put him over to the side. And then, my last one, hold on. Okay, so this one is similar in design to Fred the Frog <laughs> that I made last week, where he's basically a ball with eyeballs and then legs. So here's my version of him. Obviously he's crooked because I first sewed the eyes on and they're crooked. And then you have to sew these front and back legs on and the picture shows a lot more space in between the front and back legs. So I probably should have put the legs like further up here. And then I decided to just make the mouth like it should be like lined up <laughs> along the stitches knowing that while he's sitting, because he sits like this, kind of crooked. And these eyes, I got just, um, I got those at, uh, from Timu. And these are the only eyes in that pack that were, like, separate. The rest of them were, like, <coughs> two eyes, like, stuck together. My lighting's all weird now, because my phone... Hello? There we go. Um, <coughs> yeah, so... These are the only fun eyes in there. I like how I can like twist them so he can be like looking all cra crazy if I want. But <laughs> I don't know. And um, this pattern, I don't remember if I had anything to say about it. I think it was written okay. There were, nothing was too confusing. Um, the legs were just made um, I didn't have to like make a whole big tube like that one last week that I didn't like to make. Um, they're just little and this one is just like one row shorter than this, the back leg is. Um, I didn't know he had back legs just looking at the original picture. Um, cause you can only just see his front legs. Anyway, I think I'm, I, I might need to start sticking with the, uh, no sew patterns cause I really am not good at putting pieces on and making them look normal but he's still cute I still like him um this one was made sorry the yarn is um 
Sweet Snuggles Light by Loops and Threads. So it's a Michaels. And it's a number six weight. And the color is ice green. I'm not sure if that's showing really what it is. It's more like a minty green than a aqua. But um, out of the three yarns that I used this week, this one shed the most and gave me the most trouble like when you start with the magic circle. I think I ended up doing instead of, I like the magic circle better but sometimes with these yarns it works better to do the chain two and then go into the first stitch and do it that way. Um, so I had to do that a lot with this one and it, like when you cut and like it sheds everywhere um, this one was the worst. <laughs> so I had like mint green fuzzies all over my bedroom and my bed and I had to vacuum it and yeah well all right sometimes my ring light likes to randomly switch to like a different color <laughs> anyway um this next one like I said I found on Instagram and he is just called the pocket frog and he is an oh so pattern and he's little and cute and kind of ugly but cute at the same time um he's, since he's darker he's kind of hard to see but these are there's like bobble stitches here and here and then these two front ones and then here and here um and then his mouth and his eyes he was made with premier parfait chunky which i just opened this and i already lost the ball band it's probably in my room somewhere um but i do know it's also considered a bulky six which to me is a little weird because these are both a bulky six and so is Bernat Blanket Yarn. And they're both like, I feel like this is thicker. Maybe it's not that much thicker, but working it up that this one feels thicker. Um, come on. Anyway, this one feels thicker when you're working it up, but Bernat Blanket Yarn definitely works up thicker and fatter and it's also a bulky six and then the ice yarn is basically the same size as this and they say it's a four so who knows uh <laughs> anyway this one it was pretty quick and easy to do um i just copied the face like the design um that's how they made the face the only thing was a lot of these instagram patterns don't say like what exact yarn they used they just say it's like oh it's a chenille yarn and then they this one said they used like a three millimeter hook and i was like there's no way i'm using a three millimeter hook with that so i tried like a four or a four and a half one of my g hooks and it was like a little too tight so i did my h hook which is what i've been using for this type of yarn mostly um oh i forgot i did use a j hook for him i forgot to say that sorry um yeah and he is no so the only thing was um that's right so in the pattern she has like an extra increase in one of the rows and you didn't wouldn't know that it's extra except for that the stitch count is off and then in her description like the uh, part that you read underneath the pictures whatever that's called <laughs> the caption or whatever she does mention that that it's not correct but if you're just swiping through the pattern you might not notice that um and then also somebody in these bobble stitches she doesn't say there's no def there's no in these a lot in a lot of these patterns they don't like give a definition of how to do the stitch and you know bobble stitches can be anywhere from like three double crochets to like six double crochets um so somebody asked a question in the comments about which how many double crochets were in the bobble and i think she said four for the legs and six for the eyes or something like that so i did however many loops not necessarily double crochets because it seemed too too puffy if i did an extra double crochet um so i don't remember which one was which i just followed what the comment said and yeah, I feel like I didn't pull, it's like, I didn't pull this quite tight, but it was getting snagged up, so he's got a little bump right there, I feel like. Anyway, so this is one that would be cute to make for, like, 
little craft fairs or whatever if you need a quick and easy small item to make versus all these other ones that you have to sew on parts. <laughs> um, this one was not too bad, but I really don't like sewing this part on. The rest of it, this was all one piece, and then these were easy to sew in, but still I'd prefer <laughs> not to sew on eyeballs that have to be centered. I like the ones that maybe you just connect and then continue. So um, yeah, I think that's everything for this week. Um, hopefully you guys are busy making frogs. Um, I am recording this a little bit early again, um, but as of right now, there's only been one person who has emailed me a picture um, besides like fellow collaborators. So if you do want to enter the giveaway, um, you won't have lots of competition because there's only one person so far. So hopefully you guys are working on stuff and you want to um, participate and show us your frog items. You can put it on Instagram. You can tag me or not. I can, if you don't tag me, I might not see that you've, that you're entering the giveaway. Um, but I can try to search. I like, I try to search the hashtag and then you can send me an email. Um, I also did create a playlist, um, for this make along and I've been adding everybody's videos to it as I see them. So if you want to go check out everybody else's videos, their channels will be linked down below as well and you can go check them out. So anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying all the froggy fun that we are having this month and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye guys.